Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. So guess where I'm sitting? It's my new desk. <laughs> um, I have been sitting at a coffee table in my bedroom doing all my videos since we started this whole thing, um, which I don't know, was four years ago. And I have officially, as of last Wednesday, upgraded to a desk. Now I don't have a room or anything like that. I am in my bedroom in the corner uh, by our by like these big windows uh, but I am so excited to actually have a chair to sit in now instead of like kneeling and I have a desk and I have a little um, area for paper storage and I can't wait to share this with you it's not completely organized and done I mean I'm uh, I just got it last Wednesday like I said and I've been doing orders homeschooling the kids everyone's home you know how it is with this whole new uh, lifestyle right now. So anyway, um, don't mind the mess, but I'm really excited to share with you what it looks like. Okay, so as you see, I have my bed, and these are these big windows that I have right in front of me. Um, this is a little, my little plant stand where I'm propagating all my plants, and then I transfer them outside eventually. Um, the green onions are doing really well and this lettuce is doing good this one just hasn't taken off too well but it'll get there it's got some just not a lot so okay so i did want to show you that i planted these and they're doing fairly well we had some wind so we do have some bent ones looks like something might have eaten that one but this is lettuce and this is the um, celery and I'm going to plant the green onions right here today so it's looking pretty good anyway um, like I said this is like my little corner my bed and then the windows so this is my new desk now it's a bit not it's a bit messy we'll just say it like that like all down there that is all like cork and um, where I kind of like make the covers and things like that. So that's kind of a mess and I really don't know what to do with that, but it is what it is at the moment. This is uh, a paper cutter that I had gotten like in November, super excited about that. And I'm sure you can tell if you order my notebooks, you can tell like the cut is just better because I'm not using a rotary blade anymore. But these are the paper uh, storage areas where I keep all my stuff. Tomo River paper, Strathmore McMedia paper. Um, this is kind of just extra storage for everything and um, package mater packaging materials and bits and bobs of extra stuff. <laughs> That's kind of like a junk drawer, really. Um, same here. This is like extra paper, washi. This is my whole washi tape collection, um, extra storage supplies. So I really love this thing. And this was the main thing that I wanted. Um, the desk was an afterthought just because, um, Ikea was doing this thing where shipping didn't increase at all. So, um, this chair is pretty nice. It, I don't like chairs with, um, armrests because, I like to sit on at all angles on the chair, if that makes sense. Sometimes I sit at the chair like this and I work on my desk like that. So yeah, uh, that is the chair. And then these drawers are just the same as the other ones, the same depth and everything. They're just super big drawers and they're really nice. And then this one's kind of the same. It's a little more messy, this one, but it is what it is, so. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited about the desk and I think it looks really nice. It's working out really well. I'm still sometimes getting, oh, sorry, the light change. I'm still sometimes getting on the ground to roll out the cork and cut it. I'm fine with that. It's just more getting me off the ground if I'm actually journaling or if I'm filming. Like I have my whole film set up here. Now I'm not fancy with the film. I use my camera. Um, I have this like extended thing and this can rotate this way for um, like when I'm doing a YouTube video because it, it creates a landscape or it can rotate this way for a portrait for uh, Instagram. So 
And then this is just like a paper contact sheet um, because white can sometimes be stark in the video. I might go back to white just so I don't have to worry about this. I do like this, um, but I don't know if I wanna fully commit to like putting it down on my table or not. So um, I'm also, I can just show you guys this stuff too. So not only did my desk come in, but this is something that I've been working on all week. I'm not sure if you've seen it. It was uh, posted on my Instagram stories a bit, but um, I just really love it. And I got some good feedback from you all on what you wanted me to sketch. And so I did that and this will be up on my Instagram soon, but I wanted to give you a look at it too. Um, I'm really trying to practice on uh, Procreate and get like a I don't know, just put, it's hard to go from pen and paper and have a style, cause I do, to um, procreate and kind of recreate that same style. It's interesting to swap back and forth. And so I thought all week I'm gonna devote to trying this. Um, it's called the Six Fan Arts Challenge. It's on Instagram. Uh, the hashtag is right here, Six Fan Arts. And there's tons and tons of creators doing this and I thought that it would be really fun for me to participate. I had the time. I couldn't really sit anywhere because my desk was either being built or being taken down. So I just thought, oh, I'll sit on the couch and sketch these and I absolutely loved them. So I wanted to share them with you. Uh, a full version of this like so you can actually see it all together except for just like on my iPad is going to be on Instagram so you can check that out but um, I really like it I love how it turned out I'm curious which one is your favorite I tend to I have three and that is Maleficent Pocahontas and Anne Shirley and I think it is strictly because those are my favorite out of the six, like meaning like those are my favorite movies out of the six. So I'm curious, uh, who do you like? Um, it was kind of funny because I pulled inspiration from everyone. Like I not only asked Instagram, but then I also asked like my family and my parents and stuff. And um, like Anne Shirley is done for me and my mom. I love her movies. My mom used to read all her books when she was little. So um, that's her. Blackbeard was for my brother. He really likes that. Harry Potter was for a few friends and my husband. He loves Harry Potter. Um, Maleficent was for my daughter. She absolutely loves that movie. Um, Rapunzel was something that was requested on Instagram. And Pocahontas was my ultimate favorite movie growing up so um that was kind of like how all of them came together and I just I really like it and I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm glad I did it and I learned a lot from it so um yeah I'm, I'm trying out this biodegradable plastic um I can't find bags that are the same size as the standard size notebook so I'm trying out different sizes to see how I like them, how I want them folded. If I even want to offer plastic in my shop, I'm just not 100% sure. So um, I have those. And then this, I did an upgrade to my strings notebook. So as you know, I have two strings, one for my folder, one for my journal but it was completely green and I created like this really fun pocket here. This is actually going to be, um, I ordered some of this to see if I liked it. This I'm thinking of having as a summer print, so I just need to get some more in, but I really like that on the inside because you know I feel like sometimes you can get bored with the same pattern, but if it's on the inside, it's not as, um, I don't know, you don't look at it as often. So um, what I think I'm gonna be doing, and I have ran out completely. So first I wanted to say thank you to everyone because I have ran out of, of cork completely. Like I think I have just red left. So I should be getting some in this week. And um, when I get some in, I'm gonna be listing the Traveler's Notebook style TNs. So that means that you're going to see a listing of just plain TNs with strings. And then um, if you want this fun pocket, then what I'm going to be doing is creating an add-on. And with that, it's exactly like the pen loop. So you have to have a cover in your cart to be able to purchase the add-on. Now, if you want the pocket add-on where it's gonna be fancy, then you're going to have to 
do your listing for a folio and then you're going to be adding the pocket add-on so that way you're adding the cost of the patterned uh, cork these covers or these um, uh, inserts are going to be craft to begin with just from the start and then um, the paper inside is going to be you can choose like you can with the other ones it can be a mixture of Tomo River and Strathmore it could just be Strathmore or it could just be Tomo River um, and then these will also come with a sticker just like the other ones and they are stitched I'm going to open this up so they're going to be stitched just like I do my other ones, the craft uh, cover, just like this, and then the paper on the inside. Um, and then I'm not sure exactly how many pages. I need to make a few. This is just Tomo River paper, and I like this amount. Um, I need to make a few before I actually um, share with you the amount of paper in here. It'll all be in the listing when it's listed next week. I will have all the listings done most likely by next Sunday but if you are super interested in knowing when things come out um, I would subscribe to my newsletter because I will have a few uh, newsletters going out this week or I would get on Instagram because that's when I kind of announce all those things I announce sales I announce all that kind of stuff there um, YouTube kind of gets the back end of it which I mean it is what it is. It's just easier to announce that on Instagram. So, um, but again, if you don't have Instagram, subscribe to my newsletter because those newsletters will, they're exactly what I do on Instagram. It's just in a newsletter form. So, um, but yeah, these fun pockets are going to be, I think will be really cool. And yes, they are going to cost more because it it cost me more to get this patterned cork. So again, if you want a pattern pocket, what you need to do is you need to order the folio style and then add the pocket in your cart after that. Um, if you order a tee in and you just throw the pocket in your uh, cart, I'm going to cancel your order. I'll email you and I'm going to cancel your order because I, um, I need it to be the folio style and then the add on with the pocket. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. I know it wasn't much. I don't have very much to show you as far as supplies go. I use the same things over and over. So if you do want like an updated supplies video, if you want a video of what I'm loving right now, leave that in the comments below. So that way I kind of know, um, Maybe I can do a notebooks I'm using at the moment since things have changed with being homeschool, like the kids being at home with school and stuff. Um, if the, any of that interests you, just leave that in the description box. And um, I know that you're not as excited about my desk as I am, but I really love it. So, And my kids do too. They, have, they take it over every now and again. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great week. And until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.